Hey everybody, this is um, Thirsty Turtle Tumblers. We're going to do a tutorial today on the string pull method, creating the birch trees. Um, the original cup that I did um, had a black background. I uh, primed it with black spray paint. This one I've done in gray um, because I'm going to actually do more of a winter scene on the birch trees this time. So once we're done, I'm going to go back and snow cap them. So I wanted to have more of a gray background. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to achieve the same look with a different color background than the black. Um, but I'll explain how I did the black as I go through this process. Tom is going to continue to work on his to-be-continued project, his lion that he is... On my fourth grade uh, paint-by-number. Painting. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to continue uh, working on that next to me. But we're going to go ahead and focus on the um, string pole birch tree um, look. A um, couple things that you need. You need a paper plate um, just to be able to catch, um, or I'm sorry, to put your white paint on um, because we're going to curl our, stri our string up into it. Um, you're going to need a small cup um, and some black acrylic paint um, and then some white acrylic paint. I'm also going to be using a paintbrush um, today and I think that's it. That's all our supplies. You're going to want some gloves because it is going to be messy. Um, so I'm going to try to do this. I'm at a really weird angle. I can't move this leg. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take um, and put some white acrylic paint down on my um, paper plate. And I'm going to kind of do it in a line um, and kind of thick because um, I want to be able to soak my string. Let me see. I'm going to have to move this so you can see what's going on here. There you go. So I just put some white paint on and I've got my string. I'm using like a jute. Uh, string. Um, I kind of like the um, unevenness of it, um, but you can use yarn or any other type of string um, for this. Um, put some black paint. This one's pretty runny. Just gotta be careful when I open it. Uh, right. Some black paint and the paintbrush. And I think that we're ready to go ahead and start. All right, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to stick um, the center section of my string. It's about um, maybe about a foot or a foot and a half long. You just want it to be long enough so that you can hold on to it and then um, dab it on your cup. So you want to be able to, to, be able to um, go past the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the string in there and stick it down. This is where it gets a little bit kind of messy. Um, use my glove finger just so I can coat it with some paint. And just all of it. once you get it coated, it'll be easier to coat after that. Okay. So, um, you've got a black base or a gray base, either one, whichever you're going to try. The first thing, um, if you have a black base, you want to apply some black acrylic paint down. Um, this will allow the white paint to move more smoothly over the surface. Um, if it's on a dry surface, it may not give you um, the, the drag look that you're looking for to make the birch tree. Because I'm actually doing it on a gray base, I'm actually going to paint the base of the tree in the black, and then we're going to go over it with the white to create the birch look. So I'm going to try to paint this on camera and not do it super uneven. Um, so I'm just going to, this is my first tree branch or tree trunk. And then I'm going to take my string that's got the paint on it. You might want to take some of the excess off. I'm going to set it down on one end. Turn this a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. I'm going to set it on one side. And then I'm just going to kind of drag it across. Now, if you don't have enough white in there, just go back and dip. It's okay if your black and your white mix. That's what kind of gives the gray look and then drag. And you can see how the little hairy strings on this kind of create some extra chaos going on, which is kind of neat when we're making a bunch of trees. So let me turn this a little bit and we'll do the next tree. And you can go back over this with a second coat. I may have put too my black, it's really runny. So I don't want to go too. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. This black is really ready. 
make sure you've got plenty of white paint. Just drag your string back through it. Make sure it's got a good coating on it. And then set it down and drag. Okay, we can touch up spots um, as we go. This is harder to do on the black because I can't see it so. This one I'm gonna make a thicker trunk and pull that up a little bit. So you guys can see, put my string back through my paint. Nice good coat. I'm going to start with this one. And you're just creating the, the scratchy pattern. Now, you can go back and clean this up. It's easier to start with your black as your base paint because you can go back in now and just paint black in there. Um, I do have a gray that I'll go back in, but we're also going to paint some branches on this. So anywhere it kind of blends or, or bleeds in, we can just create a branch, um, which is super, super easy. And if you have somewhere where like here you don't have really any white showing through, you can easily take just a little bit of your white paint on a stick and just scratch them in and they're going to blend anyways. And just kind of drag them down. And just, so don't, don't panic if you don't get the full look. If you get too much, we're going to go back in with black later. Let's see if I can use some of this white to help this one out. And then you just kind of paint them in there. And usually they tend to be like white on the edges and kind of opposite sides. So... So you're going to do is so you're just going to pull it and it's okay again I guess that if if the gray blends in because that's kind of what that birch tree looks like it's like a, a white under over a dark so there we go we're going to go ahead and rotate it around I'm going to go the other way this time and do another another tree okay, let's fix this one up a little bit he does not look Not a happy tree. So if you get too blobby, just go ahead and take your paint. Let me see if I can turn you back. Take your paintbrush and just run it down and redefine the tree. It's okay. If it blends again, we're just gonna take our stick and go back in and we can fix them. It's more fun to do it with a string pull. Um, it's much easier to do if you're standing up, so I recommend um, I recommend that for sure. It's hard to see at this angle. There we go. You need to leave a little bit of space. We're gonna put some snow towards the bottom. This is really runny, so I'm trying to kind of take most of it off. I think I'm going to do another thin one, and then maybe a super kind of thick one, really close connected. There. Go. Look up some pictures of birch trees if you're not familiar with it. Um, you'll get an idea. I love the snowy picture ones. Um, that's kind of where I get the inspiration from with the ink for the paint. <coughs> Drag that down a little bit. There we go. And I cut some of that 
formed and then it kind of like stopped. So try different strings, try different types of strings. You may get totally com like different effects with them. I am dripping paint right on there from my gloves. Again, I'm a messy crafter, sorry about that, guys. Just taking the brush, cleaning up my mess a little bit. I dripped. Okay. And I'm gonna clean this up too. I got a lot of white up here. So I'm just taking my brush with the black and just kind of going in and adding some lines. So the first one I didn't do as much um, hand painting, so to speak, because the base was black. It was much easier um, to maneuver um, around on the canvas on this cup. So, all right. I'm going to show you guys how to do a branch. Um, what I do is I just take a tiny little bit of black. Anywhere you see splotches, just kind of go in and draw a rough outline of a branch. A little bit of paint. Don't forget to go in both directions. And then you go back in and just touch them up. Um, usually another smaller paintbrush is a little bit easier. And then just kind of blend some of that white and that gray in and then you can always go back oh my god my brush is going to be so full of paint there's so much white on there from that why has this been so difficult and just kind of blend it in and you're going to do the same kind of effect and you're going to get some gray and some black um, when you mix the paints, because you're just going to kind of create that that bar barky. So what would it be? Would it be barky? Sure, why not? Barky look. Bark I look. guess it would bark look. But bar bark. I think I like barky. I don't think that's the right way to say it, but so that's how I create branches and just kind of keep going, going with it. Make them wherever you want. And that's it. And then just go in with a little bit of the white. You can use the string, a smaller section of string for this. Let me get some of that white off. I always put too much on it first. And you're just kind of creating the branch look with it and blend. And that's how you do some of the branches. I'm going to give you guys a closer kind of look. It looks like it's a mess, but when it dries, you can go back in, touch up, clean it up just a little bit, um, and then you've got birch trees. There we go. So you guys can kind of see what those look like. And then once it's all dry, put a great coat of epoxy on it to give it some shine. Add your cardinals or birds or whatever you want to put on them. And you've got yourself a birch tree string pole tumbler. If you guys have any questions, just leave some comments below. Or you can reach out to me on my business page um, or through Instant Messenger on Facebook under Thirsty Turtle Tumblers. Um, and check out our website at thirstyturtletumblers.com. Thanks.